Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this bronze goddess look which has lots of turquoise shades which means it's going to be absolutely perfect for them summer nights. So as always, I'm going to be starting off by priming my lids just to make sure that all the eyeshadows blend and stick to my lid perfectly. This will also just make sure that all the colours appear a lot more pigmented and it just looks a lot more brighter. I'm going to be taking Peach Smoothie eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and just be applying this into the crease as my transition shade. This is a very natural transition colour and this is just going to be a really nice colour just to make everything come together really, really nicely. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm going to start to apply that into the deeper part of my crease. This is just going to prepare the look for the black that we're going to apply and it's just going to make the black a lot easier to smoke outwards. Not to mention it's going to warm up the look as well because this is quite a reddish brown and I'm just using quite a few different blending brushes just to ensure that that is quite blended outwards because we want to make sure that it blends really really seamlessly. Go back and forth into that brown as many times as you need to to make sure that it's nice and pigmented. Next I'm just going to be cleaning up the side of my eye just to give us a clear shape of where we want to apply the black and then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow and this is just one of the blackest blacks I've ever used and I'm just using this on a pencil brush and then blending it out with a blending brush and just going back and forth in between the brown and the black just to make sure that this black blends out very seamlessly. Go in between the two colours and the brushes as many times as you need to. To make this look look nice and blended, you want to make sure that you're going back and forth between brushes and just making sure that everything looks absolutely seamless. Again, I'm just cleaning up that side just so that we can have a nice clean shape for where we apply our eyeliner. Next I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Pigment in Poker Face and this is just a really gorgeous gold bronze colour and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid and this just ties the whole look together because this just gives it that really amazing summery feel and then I'm also going to be taking Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer and oh my god this is the best highlight shade ever, it's just the most gorgeous inner corner highlight and I'm just making sure to pack that on so that it looks nice and vibrant. Next I'm going to be taking my Soap and Glory Super Cat Eyeliner and just start to do a really nice wing. You can of course go for a normal wing of eyeliner if that's what you'd like but I really wanted to take advantage of the whole cat eye effect within this look and I really wanted to just go with a really nice wing of eyeliner that looks very feline like so completely go for any eyeliner style that you like and I do also have a tutorial on how I do my eyeliner so I will pop that in the description box for you if you guys want to check out that video. Then I'm just applying my false lashes. The Next I'm just taking my foundation mixed in with the Jar Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Cream. This will just give us that really nice gorgeous glow within the foundation. Even though this foundation is matte, it will give us that gorgeous glow just coming through our skin. I'm just blending that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Next I'm just going to be applying my concealer, I'm using two concealers today, I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and just applying that directly under my eyes and then I'm taking MAC's Highlighter Pen in Light Boost. I'm just taking that and applying it onto the other high points of my face, I'm applying that onto my forehead, the bridge of my nose, under my eyes and also on my chin. Then I'm just going to be taking that same sponge and just be blending that into the rest of my complexion. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to be taking my Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush, which you guys see me use in every single tutorial. It's just the best brush to get right up into the lines, just so that you can clean everything up with the concealer. And then I'm taking my Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Powder and just applying it on top of the concealer we just applied with that same sponge. Next, I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows. You guys have seen me do my eyebrows multiple times, so I will also leave my eyebrow video down below in the description box also. Next, I'm going to be taking Sugar Pills Darling Pigment, and we're going to start to apply this onto our bottom lash line. So this will just create the most gorgeous pop of colour onto the bottom lash line. And I'm just taking a little bit more of that Corrupt eyeshadow, which is the black from Makeup Geek, and applying a tiny little bit as close to the lash line as possible. Next, I'm just taking Max Pearl Glide Undercurrent Pencil and applying that to my waterline. And I'm also just applying some more of that Shimmer Shimmer to my inner corner. Also, I'm doing a little bit of a cat eye eyeliner on the inner corner and applying my bottom mascara and the eyes are complete. So to finish off the skin, I'm going in with a really light bronze. I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Golden. I'm just using a little bit on a large brush just to disperse the product really evenly. And then I'm taking a slightly smaller brush and just applying that same product onto the very hollows of my cheeks just to give our face a little bit more structure. And then I'm also applying my Becca Opal Highlighter and just applying that to my cheekbones and also onto the bridge of my... And then to finish off the look, I'm applying some Boldly Bare Lip Pencil from MAC to my lips. And I'm just covering my whole lips with that and just making sure my lips look nice and peachy. And then I'm taking MAC Peach Stock Lipstick and applying that all over and just blending that in. And then to finish off, to give that gorgeous glossy wet look effect, I'm taking MAC Clear Lip Gloss and just applying that all over with my finger. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the little like button down below because it really does help me out so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!